New findings just published in the journal Science Advances show that the AMOC is close to shutting down. The AMOC, or the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Current, is an ocean system that distributes warm and cold water around the globe. And it's one of the major Earth systems responsible for the climate as we know it. It's why Ireland and the UK are fairly temperate, while Greenland is covered in ice and snow. And the conclusion from drawn from this paper shows that the Atlantic current is in a very fragile state, slowing down by 15% since 1950, due in large part to extreme glacial melt in the Antarctic. And the AMOC is at an extreme risk of shutting down altogether. And even if it just slows down, some scientists say the results would be catastrophic. Temperatures dropping 7 degrees Celsius, 12 degrees Fahrenheit across parts of northern Europe. That would dramatically affect farming yields. Land to grow wheat would drop by half. And it would likely push the Amazon rainforest, the Earth's lungs, past its tipping point, turning it from a rainforest to a savanna. Right now, the findings put the time frame anywhere between 2025 and 2095. Given the implications, the uncertainty of that time frame is hardly comforting. Joining us now to discuss this further is John Morales, atmospheric and environmental scientist at Climate Data in Miami, Florida. Now, John, what was your reaction to these findings? Not at all surprised, Chris. Uh, right here in Miami, ground zero for many of the impacts of climate change, we've seen sea level rise accelerating in part because the Gulf Stream is slowing down. And of course, that's because the AMOC is slowing down. And what is the main driver behind that AMOC slowdown? Uh, well, it's, it's fresh water, right? I mean, you've got the ice melt accelerating, coming very fast off the Greenland ice sheet. Also, many of the rivers up in the Arctic region are uh, discharging a lot of that fresh water. Fresh water, salt-free water, is lighter than salt water. And therefore, it just sits there at the surface. It doesn't sink, and it slows down the entire conveyor belt of the AMOC. Now, John, has this happened before in our planet's history? It has. A uh, record show 12,000 years ago and, and other times in the past. Uh, temperatures during those times were higher and sea level was much, much higher than it was today. What actions should governments be taking in response to these findings? Well, listen, like everything, right? I mean, every tenth of a degree matters here. So we need to be able to slow this down, slow the emissions, the fossil fuel emissions that are uh, uh, enhancing the greenhouse effect and warming the atmosphere, warming the oceans and melting the ice caps. We appreciate your insight. Thank you so much, John, for joining us.